Okay, what we have here is um, we're going to have a Yoshimura exhaust on this and it's a 2017 Yoshimura RS2 exhaust and what the problem is is the low mount exhaust doesn't uh, it hooks up right here and doesn't have this obviously this foot peg doesn't have that connection so a couple of people um, have suggested make it, making a bracket to do it and um, I have material to try and do that but you know I think the better way to do it is to get a different um, what do you call it like a rear bracket set so BAM 2017 bracket on this 2015 Grom fit right in there and then of course it has the the mount for the exhaust that you need for the Yoshimara which is this loop right here which you can see is not up there and so it's a good way to do it if you want that Yoshimara low mount exhaust and uh, so we'll get that through and give you a look at how this goes take you along so first what I've done is disconnected the rear brake uh, return spring the uh, and the rear brake light switch those two holes right there and then we'll get into getting each foot peg off putting it on the new one and then you're really talking about two bolts boom boom and then the mount on the other side for the uh, brake fluid reservoir and piston system all right so that's what we're doing 2015 Grom with the 2017 Yoshimara RS2 and to do that we're putting on the new foot peg rear bracket with the system and I'll give you the information on how to where, to, where I got this it was $26 and um, I thought it was a pretty fair price so you need to pay $450 for the RS2 exhaust so 25 bucks yeah it's adds to the cost but you know what it's um, to do it right that's how you do it all right stand by okay here's a look at the the reservoir bolts those look like eight millimeters there and there so this is off and ready to go we just need to get those two off and then we'll change out the two pegs and the brake lever all right so I took got that off but what do you know one more piece to get off and that's this so the cotter pin boom boom get that out and uh, slide that off and put a new one in so two eight millimeter bolts and then this cotter pin on the brake pedal linkage and it should be free okay got the uh, foot peg switched out and um, there's some subtle differences here between the two um, mainly this uh, this part here and obviously the, the gap in this part on the back side that you normally don't see this is pretty hollowed out whereas the 2015 model um, well I guess it's kind of the same but there's a little little differences but as far as aesthetics goes um, you can see the differences between the 2017 and the 2015 now the question is I only ordered the the right side setup here because I need it for the exhaust but I may go back and get the left side too just because I think there's some intricacies in the design and so the you know the 2017 on the right side is going to not really match with the 2015 on the other side of the bike so we'll get that done probably but we'll see uh, this was more of a priority obviously because the exhaust is sitting right there and this is the RS2 and ready to go complete kit low mount so that's after this stay tuned get this back going and I'll keep update you as that goes 
all right there we have it now there's a little trick to getting uh, these foot pegs on obviously the spring set in here make sure you do that right and then this one's got a little uh, ball bearing in there that um, allows it to click so that washer right there and the little ball bearing make sure you get that in there right but this is what we're after this this hole right here um, and that's going to give us the low mount for the uh, RS2 which is this setup here and um, we'll get cracking on that later but you can see this side rear set <coughs> compared to this one and um, you can tell the subtle differences so I'll probably order that other one it's 26 bucks I'll have to pay for shipping again but um, just so they're sort of the same uh, that would be my advice is just buy the pair and um, do both of them and then you can get your uh, RS2 your 2017 only RS2 Yoshimar exhaust and you know you're paying four hundred and fifty dollars for that um, Yoshimara pipe and doing some hokey bracket system here is not worthy of that so it's probably you know you're probably gonna add another fifty bucks to get the rear set um, you know twenty six bucks each plus shipping is it worth it I don't know because now you're into the into the exhaust five hundred dollars and it's quite a big uh, big price to pay for a four thousand dollar bike um, but anyway I did it and that's how you do it putting a 2017 exhaust on a 2015 bike all right YouTube let me know if you got any questions that took about a half hour I'd say and um, you know the bike still only has about 40 miles on it so I'll probably wait a little while to put this exhaust on because you're supposed to let the motor break in a little bit um, so I'll probably do it at a couple hundred miles but I'll let you know when I do that and get you on board for that later